All right, guys, so I'm here at the kitchen table. I got my little package knife, and I got a box here that came all the way from Bandor, Siri, Deman, Dam, and Sarah, WP, Malaysia. Comes from a little company called Seriatone. And Nick at Seriatone did a wonderful job on the 50 watt so I ordered a hundred watt actually I didn't even have the 50 watt when I ordered the hundred watt I just ordered the hundred watt because I was like the hell with it because it takes six months to get one of these I'm getting two so I got the other one about a month ago and I got this one actually last Monday but I didn't open it till now so first thing comes out of the box is the power cord yay and now we're going to get rid of all these little cubes that they put in. So we're going to get them out. We're going to cut. We'll be right back. So we got rid of these. We put them into a, another bag and put them back in the box because you, know, you can always reuse these to, to pack another item and ship it. Or, you know, if, say your kid has a little Christmas play and you need like little ice cubes for like a penguin scene, you could always use these too. I don't know. Whatever. John wants some junk and ham. So, what we're gonna do right now, John, when I pick this up, I want you to pull the box out from under me, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go! Can I pull it out? Okay, oh! And you can see right there. Look at that. It says right there. <coughs> can you zoom in on that, Johnny? Can you zoom in? There's the face plate. Okay, may have a nice piece of plexi just like on the 50 watt one with its little screws. And here's the mounting bolts. We don't want to lose them because they're important. So we're going to just get them off of there. Wrap that up. I'm going to toss that into the one parts box. Oops. And there's my screws which just fell out on the table. We'll put them, we just put them right there for the the time being, I'm going to have a little drink of water. Because as the red hot chili peppers say, you do a little dance and then you drink a little water. We're gonna, these are the bolts that will mount the chassis into the head box. And now I'm going to do a little bit of surgery. You don't want to just go diving right in. When you're unwrapping your packages, you want to go one little piece of tape. And you can see how well, how well packaged this was. The shipping was done in quite a professional manner. I gotta tell you, when it comes to customer service, Nick at Seriatone is a number one. Uh, so I'm gonna try and John, I'm going to pick the chassis up. Can you pull the bubble wrap out? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Let's slide that out. And there is the chassis. And wow, I am excited. Look at this thing. So we're going to carefully, carefully get through the... He's, he's, he's wrapped it beautifully with shrink wrap. Can you get down here for this, John? Can you, can you get a little zoom down? on this. This is a beautiful, beautiful packing job. And, and I mean, so, I mean, everything from Seriatone so far that I've, I've uh, experienced is just 100%. I mean, the guy, the guy Nick and his, his crew there in Malaysia, they give customer service better than any other organization. I mean, there's, I think, only one musical instrument company that gives and, and 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 Nick's service of course is personal I mean he's the guy who built the amp and owns the company and he sends you the emails personally this is a handmade boutique amp and for the price that this thing is I I would say it's uh 
it's it's a value on par with none because the way these things sound and the way they're made, you're not going to get anything in this quality. Um, I mean, maybe you get a Freeman, maybe a Friedman, maybe you'll get a you know one of those other boutique amps, but I gotta tell you, this this amp is up, and here's the the caps for the. 12 AX7s. These, these amps are by far, by far, probably the most beautiful um, Marshall reproductions, you know, clones or whatever you want to call them, that I have seen so far. Oh wow, look at that circuitry. Holy cow. These, these things are just absolute works of art. I mean, really, um, this guy's name is Nick Alzam, I think his name is, and um, he is a master, master amp builder. I cannot say even half as much as I could about how wonderful this guy is. He's a very friendly guy too. So I'm going. So there, there's the back. Okay, can you zoom in on that? This is the back of this. Okay, now this transformer. It says Brit 100 PT, power transformer, 120 volt, 230 volt, 240 volt, okay? And this one is a Plexi 100 watt OT, 27 February 2023. So this thing was just made. I mean, he, he's got a six month backlog, okay? But from the time it's, this transformer went in, 27 February, okay? It's April 1st now. I got it a week ago, so I got it on April um, 23rd, a week for shipping. So this guy built this thing less than a month ago. Okay, what? The plastic on the back. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm, I'll get to that, John. It looks bad now. No, hold on, hold on. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Okay. I'm just going to flip this down. Yeah, slide that out. Okay, so there's the back. And on the back here, you can see you have your effects loop. I don't want to keep my blade out, but you have your effects loop. Okay, can you zoom down to the back panel? So I'm looking at the back panel. Your first two jacks here, okay, these are your effects loop. You have your effects send, effects return. Then you have your speakers, okay, and he uses the real cliff jacks just the same way as. As Marshall does, although Marshall doesn't use the metal nuts on theirs, they use the ones with the plastic nuts. I think the metal ones are actually better. I think they look cooler. Then what you have is your impedance selector. You have four, eight, and sixteen. Okay. You next you have your tube test points. Okay, so this is the test point for tube four. This is a test point for tube five, six, and seven. That's your common. I did the biasing on the 50 watt head. It's relatively easy with this. You just have to, you don't want to touch this potentiometer here, okay, because that's your bias pot and very, very sensitive. I mean, it can, it can go up 10 or 20 millivolts just by touching it. So it's very sensitive, but that I'll show you how that works later. I did it on the 50 watt. I'll, I'll do it on this and make sure when you do you you you're um, biasing. You set your meter for millivolts, not milliamps, millivolts. Okay, and it's really it's really easy to do this. Then you have your obviously your, your old style Marshall um, power cord input, and you have your two fuse holders, which I like these easy to screw out fuse holders, um, and they're in there. Wow. Okay, really tight, and they uh, come. Right out, and the first thing I always do, I always check. Never trust, c c trust but verify. You got the, the fuse in there, okay? You always want to make sure they're the correct values, okay? And this uh, one has one, and oh, that's fine. Okay, it's the it's the it's the correct one. Um, some of them say 122 uh, amps, some say 241, I don't know, it's, it's, they're the same thing. Anyway, so okay, 
So you have these are the caps that will go on here when we put tubes into it. Now looking at the top, let's see you got your caps, choke, your, uh, your, your PT, your OT, oh yeah, yep, your PT and your OT uh, transformers. Um, like I said, you got your bias adjust there. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to flip this up on its side so we can take a look at the inside of this. And isn't that just beautiful? John, can you zoom in on this? Look at that. Is that gorgeous? Look at the wiring on this amp. The, the cable management he does is just beautiful. Okay, Nick should be... I don't know what these two wires here go to. Um, or these uh, four wires. I, you know, because they're just terminated as ends. It might be for some type of modification you can put on it. I'd have to ask Nick. Which I will, because maybe we could modify this. I wouldn't have any problem doing some type of mods on this. If they were necessary. But so far, with the other one, I haven't seen anything on this that I don't absolutely love. I mean, this is going to do what I want it to do. Um, you can see they use the cliff jacks here. I said, There's, this is your impedance pot, fuses, power cord. These are your, this is your, um, uh, what you call it, switch, your, um, uh, it's for the, the, uh, the it, yeah, it's for the um, power, the wattage. So this can go from 100 watts. 100 watts to 50 watts. It's it's I mean it's just super beautiful. I'm just looking at the soldering on this. Is this solder job should be hanging in the Louvre? I swear to God, it's this is just absolutely beautiful. And this thing is sturdy. And that's and that's why I got them because I don't want to take my old Marshalls, and you know, out on gigs and stuff on the road, just because I don't want to destroy them. And um, and also, they're, they're not, Marshalls are very roadworthy, but they're not, these things are like, I just cannot believe how well put together. The wires here, he has kind of hot glued down into the chassis. The, the uh, these two ca caps here, whatever they are, oh, that's a cap, but these two, they're glued together. And he, he hot glues them into each other, just beautiful. I mean, this is meticulous, artisan craftsmanship really is so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over us to the front and look at that beautiful piece of plexiglass here see and it's reverse printed onto this so it's just i am so impressed and so in love with these amps what you have is you have your on off polarity you got your uh power indicator light you know your uh, presence um and then your tone controls and your volumes. You've got your four inputs, once again, using the cliff jacks. And these are the same as it would be on a Marshall. But um, I can just not say enough about this. I mean, just zoom in on this panel. I mean, uh, I can just zoom in on that. That is just, that is gorgeous. I got to tell you, this, this is a very special moment in my life. And I'm glad I could share it all with you right here on Uncle Robbie Science Corner. Until next time, keep on rocking the free world.